The director of the IMF, Christine Lagarde, says Argentina needs a financial plan that promotes growth and stability. In an interview, she said that conversations between the IMF and Mauricio Macri's government will continue over the next few days. In spite of the distrust, the agreement with the IMF has caused to the Argentine society, negotiations continue. Mauricio Macri's government has even promised to speed up the process to reach an agreement. We also want to lower the deficit, but that means we have adjust things for those who benefit from tax exemptions, like big mining companies. We should also stop paying our debt and have an audit to reevaluate our priorities. I think we must nationalize some companies and banks. We must try to plug the economic leak that takes all of our national savings away. For some experts, the appointment of Nicolas Duhovne, the current Minister of the Treasury, as Super Minister of the Special Economic Cabinet, will make the crisis even worse. Nonetheless, President Macri put him in charge of nine ministries, as well as of the negotiations with the IMF. Rich people are the real problem in our country. They keep amassing wealth that belongs to the state and devastating natural resources. They don't invest, they funnel funds outside of the country, they don't pay taxes, and this government doesn't do anything because it belongs to them. Different sectors of the society are concerned about what is being discussed in these negotiations. Economic growth and the budget for 2019 are in the hands of Duhovne. He's a puppet of the IMF and of the transnational companies that are robbing Argentina. They come to appropriate our wealth. This agreement with the IMF is part of the strategy to steal the resources of our people. That's why we must take to the streets. Multiple protests are being prepared against the negotiations as the IMF moves to officially approve the deal.